If you have just replaced your hard disk drive, you're going to need to format the hard disk using the Apple Mac utilities. And um, also because there, there's no disk in there, it, it's going to go straight to the internet recovery. I plugged my Mac into my switch, which is then obviously connected to the internet. So it would go straight to the internet recovery. Once my Mac started, this is the screen I was greeted with. And it did take a while. Um, it took a, a, quite a while for it to move on to the next stage. But then, you know, you get a little progress bar. When it finished, I was asked to select my preferred language. Okay, I, I've, I've got as far as us here. Um, I had to do the internet recovery, so that meant that I, I had to make sure that it was, it was plugged in to the switch. And um, it's now, it took a little while, but then it, it started and now it is uh, going through this welcome screen. So we'll see what happens next. Now I'm at Mac OS Utilities and I'm going to go to Restore from Time Machine but I'm going to have to go to Disk Utility first and format the disk. When it first started up um, I went to Disk Utilities and it only had uh, this this drive here this this one named Mac wasn't there okay so what I had to do was go to the raise tab select um, guild as the uh, partition map and OS extended journal and then I clicked continue and this is the next box that's come up so now if I select done Now I select this one, leave here, go to restore from Time Machine. You could off like, you know, reinstalled fresh if you want. Continue. Anthony McDonald's, it's my, uh, I'm going to have to put my code in now, so I'm just going to pause this for a second. It's now come up with the list of options to choose from. This is this is my one, my iMac. And then continue. Okay, so you want to pick the one that was the, the latest backup. And that was that was the latest backup that was last night. And click continue. Select the drive that you want to restore it to. And then select restore. There's just a little warning about what's happening. Just click continue. This may take a while, so I'll just pause it. Okay, it's now estimating the time that it's going to take to restore. And this is going to take a while because I've got quite a bit of information on there. So it could take a couple of hours or more. So I'll pause the video and then um, you'll be able to see the final results. Once it finished restoring, I put my password in as I would if I was just booting up for the first time and I'm straight into my desktop and all my files are here, all my apps are here. I've not lost a thing.
If you're having problems with your hard drive and you suspect that it might be failing, or you've checked out the um, smart status, if we go to the smart status here, I'll show you what I mean. Smart status verified. If yours says failing, then you need to back up your data right now and change your hard drive because it will fail. It might fail in a few hours, it could fail in um, a few weeks, but it's going to fail. So if you're having problems, check it out, check out the smart status, make sure you've got this one selected and just see what it says. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and try out one of my other videos.